So before we actually start this video, I do want to tell a quick story about last week in Oregon as it turned out to be absolutely great. We will then get to the news as I have some very big news to share with you guys. Something I think you guys will uh, be kind of excited about. Uh, something that is very exciting for myself and that is coming in the somewhat near future. And then to get to the point of this video, we are going to unbox this Mazarenko arm wrestling table, which I am beyond excited. And I'm excited for you guys to kind of witness this because I've had this table for literally um, almost a week now. I have not opened it because I've been waiting to do this video and I have obviously been busy um, with the tournament and other things. So you guys know the drill, grab a coffee, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's go. So Thursday night, I end up taking the ferry from Victoria to Vancouver and I ended up meeting up with Logan as we were leaving Friday morning. Friday morning comes, we end up packing up the truck. We're actually gonna be taking the Ford Ranger and uh, I was planning on sitting in the back and I don't know about you guys, but Ford Rangers in general, I mean, they're, they're very, very small. Uh, we all pack up the truck, we get everything loaded, food, all that fun stuff, and then we take off to Oregon. Now on our way to the border, um, we're about 15 to 20 minutes. Hey, got a little friend here. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm also doing this in my room, by the way, because uh, my place is an absolute disaster. So we're about 15, 20 minutes away from the border. Logan's truck breaks down. Now, immediately all the lights come up on the dash. My first thought is the alternator is gone. I don't know, because I've had this happen to me before. To get to the point, um, it, it was not the alternator. It ended up being some fuel lines. And so we got the truck towed all the way back to Vancouver, which was another, almost an hour. So we ended up swapping vehicles. There was a whole scenario to that. And then we ended up taking an SUV from Vancouver down to Oregon. Now the trip was about, uh, give or take, 10 hours in total. I mean, that's like from when the truck broke down to when we get to Oregon. We stopped in Eugene the first night, had some food, celebrated, you know, it's gonna be a great weekend. And then the following morning, so Saturday morning, we took off from Eugene down to Myrtle Creek. I believe that was about a two and a half hour, two hour drive, something like that. Logan and I get there, we weigh in, he weighs in around 185 pounds, give or take, and I ended up weighing in at an all-time high of 192.5, something like that. Um, crazy stuff, the tournament goes through, I ended up placing first and second uh, for amateur right hand, and I did not place it on the left hand, as apparently my left is very, very bad. And I, thought, I honestly thought my left was very bad until I showed up to this tournament. So um, yeah, right did very well. Left didn't do nearly as great. So we ended up staying in Portland a Saturday night. Had a great, great time. Had some drinks, had some food, celebrated. And then Sunday morning, we did the road trip all the way back to Vancouver. And yeah, just very good times. Uh, just looking back on the videos, looking back at the pictures, um, it's something to reminisce on. Um, sometimes it's hard to live in the moment. You th you're always trying to look forward. But now just looking back on these pictures and videos, it makes me just want to go back and uh, makes me want to just keep arm wrestling. I mean, it's tournaments like this where you meet so many great people and you just, it's just different walks of life, different cultures, different religions, different, just different everything. And it's just such a great time to, uh, to be in this type of community. Anyways, I thought I would just give you a, a quick little background of uh, what kind of happened. Oh, and the weather was very, very good. Uh, good music, good food, good coffee. And I, so I also weighed in at 192 point something pounds and it's kind of funny because a couple days prior I weighed, I weighed in around almost 187. So when I got to the States, I ate like an absolute pig. Like, I, I understand why, I understand what people are saying. Like when you go to the States, everything's bigger. Yeah, everything is bigger. Like literally everything I was having was like 32 ounce drinks. Um, just, just massive quantities of food. I guess this will be the perfect time where I kind of break the news to you. Now, um, how do I say this? I will be competing at the Washington State Championships that are happening in Vancouver. And my goal, as of when this video comes out to December, my goal is to place number one at um, Washington State Championships as an amateur. If, if only if, my right hand uh, ends up becoming first in my own weight class, so to say, I'm gonna compete, um, well, I'm gonna compete my weight class amateur, and I'm gonna compete in my weight class for pro. Now my goal out of this whole thing is to become number one at the Washington State Championships. So if you guys are seeing this in your amateur, show up. More details are going to follow with this, uh, with this news, of course. This is just um, my news to you guys. So if there's anyone going to be in the Washington area or plans on attending the event, please shoot me a DM, let me know. Uh, even comment on this video if not, and we will definitely link up. 
uh, vibe and see what's up. And, and, and obviously do some after pulling if we're not already pulling in the event. This is the table that we are undoing. Check it out. This came in from Ontario. I ordered this from Magda, um, if you're watching this, thank you. But this is kind of how the packaging came. I do apologize for, I'm literally in my bedroom right now, as you can probably tell, because while well, the rest of my house is an absolute disaster. But I'm gonna stop talking. Um, this is kind of what we're dealing with. The box, it's, oh, this box, it's also uh, 104 pounds. So I'll set up the camera and then we'll start the unboxing. I'm, I'm not gonna do a table review or anything today, which there will be a table uh, review in the, in the near future, which I'm also excited to do, but let's just unbox it, have fun with it, and, uh, and then give you my thoughts once it's all put together. Very well packaged as well. Oh god. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh damn, this tabletop is sick. Oh, it's so sick. Check this out. Vita Mazarenko. Oh, I'm so excited. You want to know what I was thinking? Imagine trying to go across the border and you just these happen to be packed away <laughs> in the back of your trunk and you forget these are in there, you get checked, and then what do you think the Border Patrol <laughs> would do if they saw this in the back? Okay, it was just a joke. Oh, damn, dude, damn, dude. Oh, this thing is sick. This thing is sick. Quality so far is absolutely phenomenal. And then if you look right here, I mean this is all steel. I think it's steel. Review coming later. Don't 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 mark don't uh, don't quote me. So we have the pads left, the pegs, and then uh, the actual the actual legs. <laughs> this is literally the worst unboxing of an arm wrestling table of all time. Me sitting on a floor because I can't afford furniture. Like just. Ugh. Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> so satisfying. I am literally on my floor. Unboxing, like this is sick. Oh damn, dude. Oh damn. Welcome to the worst unboxing of all time. This pad goes tough right now, dude. continue with the unpacking I do want to quickly uh, show you guys how this whole packing is situated and you can tell that at the tip of these legs there's actually foam that wraps around and it's very well paved like it actually took me a couple tries because first I don't know how to use scissors and uh, second it's actually like uh, 18 years old proof apparently obviously kidding but then if you take a look at this one here you could tell like look how much the um, take a look at the how the foam is um, it's very well packed heavy duty tape on top um, and then as you continue down the legs here, that's what she said. I also do have to quickly say in terms of this whole packing packaging thing This is actually really really unique that I am just realizing now um, When they pack this actual tabletop You can tell there's like another piece this guy here 
Um, that's for the that's like to connect your legs on the ground. So actually, what it seems like they did here is you disconnect that. You then will um, attach the legs to that. That's like the base. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's just kind of cool because I remember with Ezreal not to, to put a different company down or anything, but just this, this came separate in the box. But this is actually like this is Allen keyed essentially to the tabletop. Very unique uh, setup they got going on. It's a little bit wobbly. Um, that's to figure out later, but I'll put this stuff on and we are good to go. out man I'm so excited uh, let's put it back let's put it to its final form um, I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty I'm pretty excited as you could probably not tell <laughs> oh damn people's arms are gonna get slapped on here oh damn dude check this out you know it's funny because when I was in Ontario I used to go to practice and I'd always see this when I was using it for practice but to actually have it in my own place now, it's kind of surreal. Um, the funny thing is though, is it's kind of like in my bedroom. Uh, if you want to see what this, this mess absolutely looks like right now. Um, <laughs> what a joke, probably looks better near where the metals are. But this is where a lot of arm breaks are going to happen, where wrists are going to be uh, getting surgery. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, probably the worst opening but it's probably the worst box opening you've ever seen especially from an arm wrestling standpoint but check out the quality of this table it looks phenomenal a review is coming and uh yeah i hope you enjoy the video check out the mess i just made um as you could tell i kind of had some fun just destroying my bedroom but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like it subscribe if you haven't as well i'll catch you guys in the next one until then peace